Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another Dying Light video and in this video we're going to be talking about the strongest one-hander weapon in Dying Light. You can also call it one of the strongest or let's say the strongest weapon in Dying Light because it is a one-hander weapon and you know one-hander weapon is always better than a two-hander weapon. So today we're going to be looking at this one-hander weapon called Volatile Hunter Baton and why this is really OP and why I think that this is the best weapon in Dying Light. So let's get started. Alright, so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys how can you actually create this weapon and after that I'm going to be telling you how I can actually one shot any zombie with the help of this weapon and the reason why this is so OP. So first thing what you're going to do is you will need the DLC Volatile Hunter Bundle which costs around 2 or 3 dollars, not that much but it gives you a Volatile Hunter Baton blueprint, a Maul blueprint and a buggy paint job and an outfit plus a sword blueprint as well. So it's actually really good considering the fact that it doesn't cost that much of money. Now how do you create this? First you would need a really good gold tier legendary pickaxe. You can also use an orange tier but it won't do that much damage compared to a legendary gold tier uh, pickaxe. So if you get that you will actually see 3800 plus damage on a legendary pickaxe or you can also get a fabulous pickaxe that does the same damage it doesn't really make it that big of a difference but it will do around 3800 damage as an unmodified pickaxe now remember this is a two-handed weapon and now you're going to be converting this into a one-handed weapon now how you will do that first what you're going to do is you will go to your blueprint section and you will create the volatile hunter baton with the help of this fabulous or legendary pickaxe whatever you choose once you create a volatile hunter baton with the help of a legendary pickaxe, you will see that the damage now is around 5,000 something. So now you have increased the damage up to a machete, like it's it's similar to a machete. But the good thing is, it actually comes with pre-applied um, an angel sword, I should say, angel sword blueprint, like a fire and electricity pre-applied. So that's a good thing here. Now, one more thing that is really amazing is that it doesn't have any upgrade. So you can still add more upgrades to it. So you can either add clickers or kings. That doesn't really make a difference. You will add kings or clickers. And now that weapon will do around 7,000 damage. So that weapon completely. Once you see the number. You know this is the strongest weapon in the game. Because your heavy travel axe. And all the other axes that you carry. It does, it does around 7,000 something damage. So it is OP. Considering the fact it's a one handed weapon again. A baton with 7000 damage is so OP because you can literally swing it faster than any other two-handed weapon and as you know machetes do consume more stamina in nightmare mode but still it's a one-handed weapon you will also gain stamina pretty quick but it will be faster compared to any other axe or pickaxe you use in the game so that's why I think it is best better than any two-handed weapon because it is fast the second thing is 7000 damage exactly the same amount of damage uh, axe does like take an example of this imagine using an axe on a nest and using a machete or let's say any one handed weapon on the nest you will see the difference the one handed weapon is really fast compared to an axe on a nest now this is what you're going to be seeing in the game itself once you use a volatile hunter button it will be faster than any other axe because it's a one handed weapon and 7000 damage means every swing you take on a zombie it will deal 7000 damage it means instant kill on normal hard or nightmare sometimes it might be two but it is most probably gonna be one hit kill on all the zombies considering that i killed demolisher dune and all the other zombies that you can find even the volatiles in one hit in the nightmare mode you can literally see the proof and i have also made a video on this in 2016 where i told you guys how can you create the 7000 damage baton but i had to remake this video just to let you know that this is still the strongest weapon and the title will be a little bit different saying you know the strongest weapon in the game a one hit kill weapon so people know whoever is searching for a really good weapon can actually make this weapon this is a really good weapon better than any other weapon i found in the game which is a one hand weapon so the volatile hunter baton could range around 7000 to 7100 damage i haven't seen further than that but it's still a lot of damage on a one-handed weapon and it has six repairs just like any other gold tier weapon in the game and it's really awesome you have a blueprint applied not like other weapon like Zagnal you know doesn't really have any blueprint on it 
So you have a blueprint. Fire electricity is a bonus. It will do a lot of damage on the nest as well. You can literally destroy any zombies with the help of this because Angel Sword Blueprint pre-applied and then clickers or kings on it makes it an OP weapon. And one-handed weapon is just cherry on a cake. Like seriously, a strongest weapon in the game is Volatile Hunter Baton. At the moment, in future, we're not aware if we will see any other additions in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found this video helpful. Use this weapon, let me know what you think about it. And uh, yeah, share your experience with me. Um, I want to know if this really helps you or you found any other weapon that is actually stronger than this in the game. So let me know that as well in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.